Yo, yo, Thringulius here, and we're back at it again with Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. I'm really enjoying my time in this game, so, uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Um, I think we'll just keep doing a couple more missions here. Um, we're headed back to Valdwick, uh, Planet Valdwin or something like that, the name of the planet. Um, to do some more Star Chaser missions. Um... The main story is kind of asking us to join a certain faction or a certain sect of the uh, Star Chasers, and we'll see where that leads us. Um, if it provides a little bit more progression in the story or or wherever, should be interesting. Um, so far, all I've really done is just like uh, bar missions and like on the uh, the mission tab there, and uh, just. Definitely a quite the variety of missions. I've done uh, like I've done a couple military missions that actually paid out pretty well, as well as uh, just a couple easy uh, go fetch go fetch this kind of mission or uh, blow up uh, blow up uh, some cargo and return it type stuff. But uh, I think uh, the faction here is wanting us to just blow up some uh some of the basic enemies there so at least we'll uh, probably just start off with some combat and see where it takes us so still trying to see the lore of the game understand the factions and stuff so far hasn't been too much in your face kind of lore or anything yet but maybe i'm just not reading it enough because there are news tabs on um in the bars and stuff like that that i'm pretty sure like just kind of like talk about recent events I wonder if they keep up with like our story as we progress because it already talked about us in the first one there that we read Vision up for quick jump I don't have anything to unlock. Oh, there, it sounds like got a couple washers. We're just gonna ignore them for now. We have plenty of time to uh, fight some fight some fighters. So far, I've found the. Uh, Washers not to be bad, uh, not too bad to deal with. Um, definitely got a lot easier since my uh, weapon upgrades. I still have to figure out the balance between uh, energy, using my energy, because like, I'm not too sure, I'm pretty sure the web eater is just like completely destroying my energy consumption. Let's actually look that up right now. Oops, wrong button. Here. We're gonna go weapon. Yeah, weapons. Web beater. Energy drain. 96. Per shot. Did I read that right? 96 per second, 96 per shot. Either one. Either way. It's a freaking lot. Let's take a look at that again. Ninety-six per shot. Yeah, that's a lot. The times that by four. 
essentially a hundred a shot. Like that's a lot. 400 energy a second, basically. A little less than that. How many energy do I, how much energy do I have? Oh, I see that. I wonder. Five thousand. So that one gun alone takes out four hundred a second. Attention to where I'm going. Okay. So, curious if mid fight. I could probably. Oops, oops, oops. I really wish you could click on these. They need to change that. Like, I should be able to click on the dock right now and select it. Instead of having to, like, cycle through. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to the chapter house. Pick, uh... Pick a different chapter and move on and progress with the story, I think. Uh, let's go to the chapter. Chapters. I'm currently enlisted with the Veil Drakes, but I think the Idol Smashers want me to join the chapter in the current story. So, Makrovari founded and intergalactically ran a group of anti cult specialist the idol smashers are considered the foremost experts on combat thing washers soul chasers and their offshoot cults currently based out of Valdric, the idol smashers have proud legacy of dismantling the networks of religious extremists through though in recent years memberships have dwindled so i just need to kill three washers seems pretty basic seems like i just leave the station and that's all i need to do but uh, maybe there's people I need to talk to. Let's see. Yeah. Talk to Rishin. Not busy. Do you need something? Guess not. Oh. Oh, this guy. Is there anything new with you? Doesn't seem like there's anything new. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Cardos, just the sack I wanted to see. You didn't tell me you were paying a private garage. You were you're paying for a gra private garage. I didn't think I had it. Well, then you've got two things to look forward to. I've arranged a certain pirate fighter to be delivered to you. Oh, really? Cool. First things first. I needed to be flying that ship. All our plans hinge on it. Well, I like the ship I currently have. Get to your garage, get in that ship, and get outfitted. Agonite's got a garage. That's probably be the closest one. Now you don't come back and tell me you're flying something that looks like it belongs to a drugged out serial killer. Huh. You have been given an additional ship to use. Ships can freely be switched between any exterior garage, which can be found on the outside of various stations. Garages. 
On the exterior of some stations, we'll find a garage. Uh, we'll find a large ring with a glowing blue center. Flying slowly through them, we'll upload your current ship and let you swap between them and any other ship you own. Garage space. You have a limited number of ships that can be contained within your own garage. You can gain additional ships by completing certain quests or campaign missions, which will often reward you with a slot alongside a unique starship. Well, that's freaking sweet. <laughs> okay. The nearest garage is near a top Agonite station, which is in orbit around planet Valdrick. Slowly fly towards the glowing blue area at the top and switch to your new ship. Little fish added to the garage. You should be named the little fish. You'll see it. Huh. Well, I unfortunately, like, I like the ship I have. Like, I just bought this guy and outfitted it. Just outfitted it, like, with awesome guns. So, like, I don't necessarily want to get rid of the ship I have. Um, but we'll definitely check this out. Sweet. Let's, uh... Top out. Let's see what this is. Uh, my floating garage, apparently. Awesome. I didn't know that was a thing. fly through the garage. Okay, sweet. Oh, lower velocity. Light fighter, a heavily modified pirate fighter designed for courier and smuggling runs. You have no idea where the idol smashers got their hands on it, but it's not the best condition. You should swear the interior smells like a lot of hastily used soap. So I can go two class twos. Two class threes, two class fours, one heavy, one AI. Max ammo is 57, that's kind of huge. Argo is 25, that's not the greatest. Scan energy, so. Like it's not the greatest ship, but it's just, I guess, story progression, so we'll we'll hop in. It looks exactly like the fucking ship I have. My other ship. It's just a different class. And a lot shittier. Okay. Um... So these are fours per second. Yeah, these are definitely four per second. How often do they drain my energy? It doesn't drain my energy at all. These guns suck. Okay. I guess he wants me to come back and talk to him. Um, I don't really have money to fucking outfit this ship with. just run into the docking ring so it's a little disappointing that it's the same ship but 
but that's okay. Still kind of neat that they give you ships for free. Back to the chapter house. You're flying the ship yet? Yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. Then everyone listen up. And our contacts in the family mad had decided to pass along a certain bit of info, namely that Doomsdayers had arrived at a shipment struggling goods delivered to them via Mata agent. What's in the cargo? We don't know for certain. We don't know the Doomsdayers definitely want their hands on it. They not only paid a huge amount to get it this far, but deal a finalized person in Abedezo himself. Abedezo, their high priest, their leader, he's the missionary in a main washer congregation. But about five years ago, he denounced the entire washer leadership and fled with the mass followers. They led a core group of, of the Doomsdayers. They only met him once. He managed to take down a battleship, its escort, and two of the Star Chasers all by himself. This is big. We have a chance to ambush and bezo and stop Doomstairs' plans, but it all depends on you, Cardoz. Why me? His cultists are expected a mad smuggler. That means that he is Baldwin. Virgin got history. They can recognize him. You not so much. We're headed to the Cadrix, where the smugglers will soon arrive. We will kill or arrest him and place... Find out as much as you possibly can from here. We will shoot him out of the sky. Any questions? Can you repeat everything you just said? Why did the Mata give you this information? We're not here to fight pirates. We're here to fight washers. The Mata aren't our enemies, even if we're not our friends. More importantly, the Mata and the washers aren't friends, even if they're not enemies. There's friction between the groups. The Doomsdayers are bad enough for business that the matter are willing to pass in on the information to get one of their own killed if it means that they no longer have to deal with Abedezo. Abedez. Yeah, I'm saying that right. Abed Bezio. No, Bezio. Oh, whatever. Bezio recognized me. I used to be high profile. So long as you keep flight helmet on, you'll be good. Do you know about me at all? If you're willing to star chase, that's all I need to know about you. Okay. Cool. No judgment here. Um. Sure, tell me about a Bezo. Bezio. He's dangerous, but charismatic too. I don't really see much in washer assassins to be to be truth. Don't really see that much in washer assassins to be truth. Vision kept tabs on more on individuals than I do, he'll have the full story. I'm worried about sending any of us against him, but when we fought him, we underestimated him. We were caught off guard and underprepared. This time, that's not the case. Why, you have me? Okay. Alright, let's go space side then. We're heading to the cadre. You're coming with? If a bezer shows up, we're going to want as many guns as possible. Okay, we had others. I really wish I didn't have to use this fucking ship, to be honest. Can I use a different ship? Even though, you know. I'm going to save and try to swap ships. Hopefully I don't fail the mission. We had the others. So this is like a mission, not necessarily a quest. Back. Okay. I have a feeling if I swap out of it, it's probably not going to go well, but I would prefer to just deploy my freaking ship. We're going to save. And then, uh, let's go to the ship dealer. Do the, 
Nope. Nope, we're gonna just go launch. Launch. Hope for the best. Hopefully I can just quickly uh, fly over to uh, the base there and swap out, but I don't know if that's going to be allowed or not. Intelligence indicates our target. Cardas, you take the lead. say anything no sweet I appreciate the new ship but I definitely don't want to have to spend the money on getting new weapons and shit right after I spent money on getting new weapons and shit for this one going oh there's not really a set oh yeah okay so just right off this 10k over the other guys come with me or what oh shit did I mess this up I might have messed this up. Shit. Yeah, they're not following me. just not let me go through interesting or is that my guy oh I'm so confused yeah no they're not around me oh well looks like I'm gonna have to do this alone I didn't reload. I only have nine missiles. Shit. Gotta be something I gotta remember to do every time. Maybe I'll stop at Wreck and Rend just to resupply if I'm allowed to. I already messed up by swapping ships. By the way, Kardaz, I spent some time looking you up since you sounded familiar. That I do. Well, I don't like being told someone's a veteran when you're not, but it's a damn shame, by the way, treated you, Cardoz. It's a damn shame. You're innocent, by my book. Let's hope the mess gets cleared up in their heads. Get out of their asses. There's another Star Chaser. He's one of our best. Also, a 010. You might meet him someday. So it's like they're following me, but I don't really see them. Am I crazy? Yeah, I don't see them around me. But it's like it's like they're active behind me. So still don't really understand what a frickin' zero ten is, but maybe I'll understand eventually. Where am I supposed to go here? It's just kinda leading me from jump gate to jump gate.
There's the gate after you, Speakerson. Yeah, yeah. And there be a bias suite. So it's just like me and Yoon will take post here. Roger that, Cardoz. With me, we'll catch the gate. We'll watch or catch. We're in position. Scanning ships. You can scan ships by getting close to them and pressing scan ship or the scan ship button on the your UI. You have see, you can see the contents of a ship you've scanned, watch your contact list, or the jump gate for incoming ships to scan. You're looking for a pirate fighter. necessarily understand like a scan target and do I have to be closer oh, he's like really far away at this point out of the jump gate. Jeez Louise, I'm not even paying attention to what it's asking me to do. I wonder if I like completely missed it. I bet you that fighter was the freaking thing I was supposed to scan. Hmm. I feel like I messed up. Yeah, I definitely 
think I messed up and I probably was supposed to scan that old red fighter. I'm gonna reload. Hopefully... ships coming out of the jungle this one first construction is elaborate This one, the old fighter, tells me that that's probably what I'm looking for. Hold on, that ship. That's our mark. Pirate ship. Deep red, outdated ID. Scans are carrying cargo. Roger that. Civilian ship, we have no reason to believe that you're carrying contraband. Disable your sh engines and turn over your cargo. Civilian ship, disable your engines and smugglers are always the same. Like we're fighting. Oh man, he looks like he's dead. Did I just blow him up? Is that what we're doing? Oh, my. yeah, upgraded freaking weapons is where it's at for sure. He's dead. Picked up strange artifact. All right, Cardaz, you're up. Contact information in the black box. All you need to know is the tractor artifact. Sure, you know it's safe. We'll be careful what you say. The smuggler seems to have a waypoint for you to set your MNO. Right. Cardoz, hang back. It's all up to you. Fuck, I wish I could read this faster. Okay, meet the doomsdayers near Emento Refinery. Guess we're going this way. I got a new item, which is just a special item, I'm assuming. Strange artifact. Coveted by the Doomsdayers for unknown purposes. told not to contact us. Trolls stepped up. You matter are so focused on your own immediate survival. No fault of paranoia. Questions are committed. In trend, um, situation has not changed. Our priests will meet you at Chazel or Folly. Because there's folly, that's not good. Folly was just superstition. It's not. It's a place is dangerous. Be careful. We'll be shallowing up, but if not something goes wrong, you'll be on your own. Wait for our signal. Okay. Didn't really catch all of that, but whatever. Meet the Doomsdayers at Trasclar's fault. No problem. And do.
definitely like the atmosphere of this game so far like the the gas clouds with the freaking random effects in it like the freaking mini mini black holes and like the the minefield like the random minefield that i went into that really kind of sucked i don't know if the mines are attracted to you or not or if they move around or not like i, I couldn't really tell I, all i knew was i was just dying real fast and then the random gas clouds that kind of like move in and out it's interesting all the special like weird like creatures and effects that happen in the glass cloud gas clouds are pretty freaking sweet like overall this game is pretty pretty interesting so far and i feel like they're probably still gonna add even more keep the doomsday is distracted and so you finally arrive i've got the artifact wait a moment indulge me this man pegged you as a royalist Creatures like to talk, keep them talking. I call this place Tresker's Folly, I assume you know why. Centuries ago, the Treskers referred to her, true king the Volvin, he fuck. They say he didn't know at the time, but welged the two rocks in his thinness. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to read this so fast. If you wanna read it, you can read it. I'm assuming this is going to be all voice acted when this is released. Part of Speakerson, so they knew who I was. Smuggler and a former smuggler. Alright, here we go. Yeah. These upgraded frickin' weapons make a huge difference. And I'm glad I swapped ships, because that's this would probably not go so well if I was in my other ship. Boom. Him. Oops, that was a waste. Boom, bitch. All right, Hilgar. Who needs reinforcements? Quite difficult to see when you're in a pack to see who you're actually aiming for, but ah shit. So they definitely can shoot your missiles out of the sky. So that's definitely something you have to pay attention to when you're shooting missiles. Got him. Boom. Got him. No, 
Oops. I definitely need to change this button layout because I keep pressing the wrong button. This is who I had to get back up for? Are we sure? Are we sure? This feels wrong. Cowardice who have words. Beg your pardon. Keeping out for blue pulses. Let's get this bastard once and for all. Long range scanning. All ships come equipped with long range scanner. You can activate it with B. This will consume a portion of your ship's energy and reveal nearby objects as pulses. These pulses indicate general direction, but not exact locations or the object. Long range pulses. Points is in dress such as jump pulse stations, wreckage. Yeah, yeah, I already kind of know. Conduct longer rate scanner with B. I'm looking for blue pulses. Like that one. I'm assuming it's that pulse that I'm looking for. Shit, come on. I might have to rethink having the scroll reel as my thrusters. It's kind of not necessarily convenient. Bear yourself the heartache. Believe me, your choice is best made. Follow or not, you're only be ever best for everyone. Because she's just scared of shit, or what? Yeah, that fight seemed way too easy for it to be like some sort of scary ass boss. So, we'll see about this fight. I only have three missiles left, but I should be able to make this work with my with just my guns. I'm definitely curious to see... Holy shit. Okay. Okay. What the hell is this freaking glowy thing in the background? Oh shit, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell just happened? What the fuck just happened? I'm so confused. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Sure. I'm so freaking confused. I am so confused as to what just happened there.
back to Valdrick. Alrighty then. Hopefully I get paid for this. I don't have very much money. I only have 27k. I really hope I get paid for this. I seem rattled. A bit as a knew me, he didn't recognize me, he knew things. You talked about your brother, you have siblings? Had. There was an accident. Only most didn't know. Alcard, I can't believe that the thing on you. But cult leaders know washers, even rogues washers, like to talk meaningless. Wish I could keep up with what the frickin' dialogue is. That'd be kinda cool. I know it looks like they're intending to make the, that voice acted, so maybe you won't have to keep up with it when it fully releases, but it's quite annoying right now. So I guess we have a rival now, a Bezio. Kind of cool. Gives you something to like look forward to and like kind of have a goal against. I think we might actually, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It might not work, but we're gonna try. Where do I dock? Doesn't seem like I can. Okay, so when I'm on a mission, I can't do anything other than the mission. Gotcha. Gotcha. Kind of figured. At least it allowed me to change my ship without any kind of like real consequence. Three sixty no scope. I was kind of hoping I could dock and maybe do a little bit of training at trading in the meanwhile. Me first, eh? That tells me that someone's on the other end. Or they're not going to come behind me and they're going to blow up or something. Yep, yep, knew it. 
Wow, that's a military cruiser. Civilian, this is a cruiser Alabaster. Turn off your engines. I'll handle this, Cardows. Alabaster, this is Chapter Master Star Chaser. Currently part of an anti cult task force. Squadment carrying a wrestler artifact. You need a reminder of just why this technology you banned in the first place? Please stand by. Speakerson, do as they say. Jettison your artifact ASAP. You can eject not equipped items out of your inventory as long as you are in space. Open your inventory with the open inventory or select the upper right hand menu. Once open, select the item you want to eject and eject card. The UMS Alabaster is requesting the eject strange artifact you acquired. Open your inventory and select the artifact and eject it. Fine. I'm sure if I, uh, I wonder if I, what happens if I don't do this? Fully eject. Delivered to an extremist set of washers. We leave the accumulating artifacts like these, but had no idea our cargo was in the Rust Lord. You're out of luck. Ultis plans, we lost the ships fighting them. You're going to lose more than just a few ships with that artifact. Stand back. Oops. I was a little too close to that. Now imagine what a civilian population center. What did you do? Nothing. Frankly, it's a miracle you're able to go through the jump gate. But we have our orders. Alabaster out. They just made our mission 10 times harder. Meet at the chapter house. Okay. Lame. So is it like, are they making it up about the fact that these things are blowing up? On their own? It kind of just seemed like he just shot at it to blow it up. I'm almost like not wanting to play this anymore just because it's like kind of ruining the narrative experience of this right now like not having the ability to keep the dialogue but I am just really enjoying the honestly playing the game is I'm it's just so so nostalgic to me so I'm enjoying the freaking gameplay a hell of a lot even if it's just me flying around space is actually pretty sweet looking all the nebulas and gas clouds and stuff I'm actually getting used to the combat and obviously now that I have upgraded weapons and stuff it's actually it's a lot faster to kill these freaking NPCs at this point I'm assuming that like it's gonna get a little harder with with heavier NPCs and bigger battleships and stuff like that because right now I'm all I'm fighting is like washers and uh and the mats, or I kind of forget what the other plan name is. Yeah, I wonder what it's like to have, like, yeah, the heavy equipment, the AI class 4. We'll find out eventually. That shit costs, like, 150k, though, like. I really hope we get paid out for this mission, even though we didn't really do anything. I guess we kind of did. Yeah, okay, so the reward is 85k, so that's, that's decent.
So in all reality, I'm going to keep the heavy fighter. Like, I don't really see any reason why you wouldn't go with the heavy fighter in terms of your base ship. Obviously, I'm going to get a freighter eventually. Just probably figure out some figure out some trade routes. Hopefully, I can find some that are decent. I don't know how much of the game that's involved with. I would assume a fair decent amount of the game could be just trading. Come on. I just want to freaking select the docking ring and dock. Thank you. Yeah, I really like the look of that ship. Okay, let's go to the chapter house. I don't care for tracking smuggling operations to the Vale at Bedezzo. I keep calling him that. Hold a hold of what he knows. I'm telling you, the Union doesn't stand restaurant artifacts for a reason. It's the alabaster. And any data on it? You realize we're flying blind here. These artifacts are figuring out what the cult is up to. We'll try making it up to you, but even if it looks like this way to Cordorum, they'll set the same thing. Just drop the issue, sort of, sort of artifact research. Why? You know soon enough. Zed out. I wonder who Zed is. Probably some sort of leader. Uh, well, Speakerson, it's not all bad. We might not know why the Doomsdayers are bought those artifacts, but at least they're not in the hands of Abezo Abezio. Is the Union always this brisk? Watch it. The Union supporters through and through. We're Union supporters through and through. But yes, the UHC is happy to cooperate with Star Chasers. It's their job. But the military, they're not a patient bunch. Especially when it comes to the Rust Alert artifacts. It's not the first time they pulled over and sought me some crazies from using Rust Alert tech. But Zed's usually a bit more lenient. Sometimes something big is up. Why are Rust Alert artifacts so dangerous? Croft, you must have been a lucky guy to never run into anything Rust Lord y. Okay, huh? But what do you know about them? They're an ancient race of giants. They killed themselves off. Basically, the Rust Lord weren't really ancients. Not in your typical scholarly definition, anyway. As far as anyone knows, they were the oldest biggest and strongest species to exist in the universe billions of years before anyone was doing anything but they were making planets and building ships the size of star system huh what the hell but eventually they killed themselves off went crazy turned all their technologies into weapons and murdered each other in huge blood bath, leaving behind their artifacts Interesting. Problem is, they're so damn big and so powerful, they didn't seem to understand the concept of restraint. Zed likes to talk about some of the less volatile artifacts they've recovered that didn't immediately explode. I think engines that can cross the galaxy in a second, but can be turned off ever. But can't be turned off ever. Guns that create black holes, most of the time, though, they're stuff that just explodes. Taking out entire planets. There's a ton of ancient races of chief space flight stumble upon a rustler and artifact and wipe themselves out. Huh. So the Union has a galaxy wide ban on anything involving. Rich idiots still pay premium for them. Every decade or so, you hear about a huge explosion that takes out a city block or a private moon that gets cracked in half. Honestly, I'm mad at Alabaster at this point. I'm not mad at Alabaster at this point. That explosion could have been us. You know the Zed person? That's General Zed. He's the top UHC star chasing li liaison. He's former star chaser, an old member of the Idol Smashers. That whole conversation confused me. Zed was the one asking us to chase down the cult in the first place. Now he's stonewalling me. Rust Lord's artifacts are no. So you think he's hiding something? Okay, so I didn't catch the full dialogue on that 
the dialogue before I started talking to Anta. I'm not saying the whole fucking thing. I don't know how to say that. But uh, I guess they were talking about stopping doing what we were doing with the art with chasing artifacts. You think he's hiding something? No, Zet seemed dismissive, but it didn't seem like he really knew the scale of what we were doing with. He seemed more distracted. And I'm calling out a few of more military contacts to see if it's the same story. Something's brewing somewhere. Something's got the military on edge. I don't know what it is. And I don't think it's us. So what do we do now? Sweet. Got some money. Zet's come through in the past. Take a break for a bit, go do some odd jobs, make some money. In the meantime, I'll see if I can dig up any leads. If there's any loose ends were missed, maybe a, a Bezio got slopped. Okay, so it's probably, I have to probably accumulate a certain amount of income in order to uh, get contacted again. I'm assuming it's generally how this goes. So I leveled up. Uh, I am now level 10. And I can unlock one of these. I kind of figured you can unlock one of these. Okay, so let's go and kind of read up on this shit. So max cargo, obviously, probably, I just kind of wish it told you how much it unlocked. I don't really want to press on these. Yeah, skill unlocks. You only have one of them. Max haul, repair prices. That kind of seems important. Shield downtime. Shield recharge rate is like awesome. Shield downtime. Alden shield builders tend to be in the best crop. Those who have studied under them have been optimized in the restart calculations required for rebuilding and reactivating shields in combat. I kind of feel like that seems pretty important. Shield charge rate. Like, I kind of thought that's what shield charge rate was, but it kind of seems like shield downtime is the thing I actually want. Energy recharge rate, which is also something I kind of need. Hmm. A lot of good options here. And you only get one of these every 10 levels. I'm six hours in and I just got to level 10. How long is it going to take me to get to level 20? Missile turn rate. That's pretty big. Mission payout. I honestly, as much as defense, I, I'm going to go with the shield downtime. up that and it goes down by like 0 0.4 0 0.04 but hey that's something shield read downtime is now at a 0 0.089 seconds so that's really nothing awesome awesome cool um okay so we are gonna go the ship dealer. Let's see what the ship dealer has. Has the Corona, which I'm not really necessarily interested in. I already have. So the freighter, which is 26k, carries how much freight? 80? That doesn't really seem like a lot. Two class twos, two class threes, two class fours. I don't, yeah, I'm not necessarily ready for a, for a freighter just yet, I don't think. Eventually. But not right now. Um, let's go see. Do I have anything in my inventory right now? Let's go cargo. Nothing special. I don't really know what any of this shit does. 
it might be able to be repaired. Like, if I go to the equipment there, or to repair, it doesn't really have anything. I just kind of re equipped everything. There's nothing. Hardball my ammo, but not the actual freaking thing. Line. Class four energy drain 150 per second, damage per shot 150 per second, refire rate 0.5, friend bot, remote driven fighter drone built by distracted by the union as an extra defense measure for pilots. Absolute loyalty and never leave you. Friendbot loves you, in fact. 72k. I'm gonna check this out. Just gonna check it out. Let's see what it actually is. I can't afford anything else there. Mine launcher. Great standing old minefields. The saboteur was reports pressed when it was discovered a design left to be desired with more powerful standing mines. Redistributed for public acts, public use. So it does a lot of hull that is 1300 hull damage and 600 shield damage. I can actually afford the next one up, the sniper. And then there's a glass here. I'm gonna go straight up with the uh, sniper mine launcher. I'm gonna sell the hardball. Um, I guess buy some uh, sniper mines. 4K. I guess my next purchase is gonna be countermeasures. Heavy equipment. Cost uh, 75k, so that's not too bad. So yeah, a shaft for the countermeasures, and then a cloaking field. I can't I haven't seen one yet, so and then maybe a couple of these. Yeah. Let's go check out the bar. Maybe check out a mission. Let's see what this guy has to say. Pilot, are you on flying the ship with the friend drive? The one out in the southern platform? I have a friend drive, why? Blimey, Valdwin, you're a star chaser. You should be careful with that. Make strong enemies, you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Having a friend drive as a star chaser is dangerous? Aye, very much. I handle civilian security for the Union, and the thing about friend drives you see is they can work both ways. See, the washers know how to make sort of opposing friend drive. They call it revenge drives. They can lock into a broadcasting friend drive single and make themselves right into mint like they do, selling them into pirate groups. You're telling me that I could get jumped if I piss off the wrong pirate group? 
I'm just saying, lad, if you're if you see washer missionaries jump right to the outside of the ankle and take down particularly up and coming Dante Hedgers who thought they were just too smart for their own good. Do you know what groups have these revenge drives? More established pirates, mostly. Washers and Sons I Giantis are safe bet. I hear they might deny it, but uh, every so often I cooperate groups that found carrying them. You keep your eye out. I, I'll be alright. Most folk don't risk the best assassin groups to low-level fodder, but it, you're alright, cunt. Watch your back. Okay. Like I said, Lav, have a friend drive on you. Just so, just be careful. Don't thank me, lad. It's my job. Okay, whatever. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but okay. Maybe take a look at the news just to see what's going on. Landline outages ruled. Baldwick Public Space Commission today announced an ongoing police investigation to read it. I don't know. I think we've already read this. Yep. Yeah, we've read that already. Uh, washers attack on the rise. Call for action today. Rang our go against Baldwin systems in response to an increased block washer presence known throughout the galaxy for wide red widespread drug distribution and extremist beliefs the washers have long been considered the enemy of the union but following attacks on several battleships as well as civilian targets expert warned that recent activities by the cult might just be the start of a larger coordinated attack you have to understand that washers are a single ununified group front there's hundreds of sects and fringe cults. To the fringe cultists, they take any sign as justification to wage holy war and begin doomsday preparations, says UHC chapter member and anti-cult specialist, Hanta. Ultimately, the whole goal is not to wipe out this fringe maniacs, but to make sure the remnants is insane beliefs and ultimately ridiculous and suppressed. Uh, the union is declined to comment about these rising attacks other than issuing a statement that the task force is currently assembled to deal with. All three bodies of victims found a recent involvement archive, archive incident has been recovered. The implosion, which occurred four days ago, have left people trapped through whatever they're alive or dead. It is unknown until today, as the rescue team seems to have trouble clearing the rubble. We're now certain that the three civilians have chosen to explore the deep archives or where their guide was. The circumstances surrounding their deaths are still being investigated, but we know the certain heat sink malfunction was the primary cause, said Chief Archivist Blackwit. At this time, Valdrid Arch Archivists are being cautioned as against civilian tours and encouraging those seeking information to simply find it online. Pending a safe inspection, the archives will be reopening next week. So there seems to be some issues with people blowing up. And they blamed me for one of those instances. Okay, so nothing too interesting. Let's go to the job board. Nothing really paying all that well. General Mayhem. Elite mission. Funding from the Union is often reliant on overall crime statistics being low. As you're a trusted member and effectively temporary officer, we believe that your best interest is to deputize you and take down any and all criminal elements you can find. We're not running any investigations or sting operations here. If it is matter, washers, or worse, blow it out of the sky. We need to make sure the nation of crime average is kept low. More than just law enforcement is counting on you. 28k to go blow some people up. I uh, will take that. And then... I think my chapter missions here is to just blow three washers up, which I don't even know if I've done yet. Could be wrong. Can I see my chapter? Chapter. 
Idle smashers. Washers killed. Five out of three. Okay. So I wonder if I go back to the chapter house, if do I get a reward for this? Got a scan. Nothing. Claim the Rutus. Yeah, I don't really understand all of this yet. Okay. I'm gonna launch. So we now have a friend drive AI system. Let's see what the hell that is. Hopefully we'll get a heavy weapon next time and a countermeasures. All right, so I'm just supposed to go find some random freaking enemies. Is that the is that the case? Destroy any pirate or criminal ship. Gotcha. Um, do I just... Where do I go? Do I just go this way? That's this circle over here, I know. Maybe we should just head towards Cassius Circle, because we know that there's going to be good people there. Maybe we'll get lucky and get stopped along the way. found like right in the beginning of the game I was getting attacked by pirates a lot and now I can't seemingly find pirates at all like I felt like every other gate I was getting attacked kind of seemed odd at the time because it's like why the hell is there so many freaking pirates attacking but I don't know we'll find some eventually here Here's some washers. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, you're declined. I'm not dead. You're dead. Oh, my auto turret is off. I wonder how I turn it on. Oh. 
Wait, what the hell? It's dropping mines instead of... Okay. I'm confused as hell. I thought mines had it all in its own butt. Yo, I'm super confused. Okay. No. I am super confused as to what's going on here. Mine launcher, bone thunder launcher, auto turret. So scroll all of a sudden. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I gotta change that. That's fine. Controls. I kind of wanted to change this back anyways. So it's not that end of the world. So I'm going to actually just go... Why isn't this working? The fuck? Yo. What's going on here? I'm just gonna restart defaults and then kinda readjust, I guess. I don't think I'll ever be strafing up and down, to be perfectly honest. Fuck. So manual docking is L. Interesting. Might change mine. No, so launch countermeasures is C, which is fine. That's good. Launch mines. I don't want to make that like V. Why do I have to conform to your bullshit here? V. And then long range scanners being B is fine. Hopefully that's everything. Um, and then I actually want to find the uh, first target. I 
activate friend drive M. So it's something you kind of have to turn on, I guess. Just see how that goes. Turn. Shit. Of course. Now I have to figure out how to fucking change camera. Oh, of course. Do the mission or do I need to do more? To destroy any pirate or criminal ships. Pay out 28k. Why do I why does this feel weird? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. What is going on here? Yeah. What's with my ship? Just save. Did I mess this up with this whole... Change of shit? Yeah, so okay. Okay, so something's not right right now. I'm a, I think I, I feel like I messed something up. What the hell is going on here? The ship isn't really flying properly. Flying downwards for some reason. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm just gonna load. Hopefully, that fixes it. Uh oh. What did I do? Zet came for us. Need to get back at the chapter as soon as possible. This time I think we'll make some real progress. Okay, cool, but like, I'm feeling pretty fucked right now with my flight. What the hell did I do wrong here, dude? What did I do? Strafe down his left mouse button. That's probably what happened here, so. That's probably what's going on. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. So I didn't really do any other missions or anything, and they're already calling me back for a mission. Curious as to destroy any pirate or criminal ships. How many do I have to destroy?
Hopefully we have an encounter before we get to Valdrick. Probably won't. One's under the launcher, auto turret, sniper mine, bone turret. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about not having scroll as my uh, acceleration. I kind of was getting used to it. Oh well. Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, nope, that's weird. Fuck. Great, so now I can't even stop. Okay, so uh, I have to like... Fuck sakes. I thought reverse engines would have been good enough for decelerate, but I guess not. So now I'm gonna have to pick a different button for... Rever Why can't I pick the same button for reverse engines? That's so dumb. I'm gonna, I guess, go hold S if that's a possibility. No? Why not? Why not? That's stupid, dude. That's fucking stupid. This is stupid. You shouldn't have to have a different button for decelerate and root and thrust backwards. That's dumb. I really wish I could frickin... Man... Why does scroll have to change fucking... Ugh! There's, there's definitely some control issues that I'm having here. I wish you didn't have to, like, scroll through, like... Missile, mine... Or, like, auto turret. Like, why do I have to scroll through that? Why can't I just control those through different mouse clicks? It already kind of seems like launch mines, launch countermeasures. Like, there should be, like, a launch missile button. Like, unless that's what fire heavy means. Just, no, because fire heavy would probably mean the heavy weapon, right? Like, fuck sakes, man. There's a little bit of inconvenience things going on here. Like, it doesn't even give you the option to stop, like, the scroll from switching shit. Shit, man. I guess I just don't get the chance to reverse engines. Like, there's not a good button for that. S would be that button. Like, fuck, dude. Oh, I'm not used to this. Okay. Right after I was getting used to using the, uh... Scroll for deceleration. Oh well. 
This was my operation in fighting the Watchers of Vermont. It's our entire chapter house purpose. It's not my call, but for excursions and failures, it seems like it's not need for our help. Is that a threat? Your friend is not entire year to see. This is not a threat. Abezo is already a well wanted felon. Several star systems can deal with him. The UHG has declared support for you. Sure sounds like a threat to me. Okay. Is the opposite, frankly. This call is operating in the well kind of tech that you keep telling everyone about. Man, I wish I could keep up. Yeah, no. I definitely can't really keep up with the dialogue here. Speaker's in. Just the floating sack of star chases I wanted to see. More trouble with the Union? No. Red faces. Red faces. Bounty hunters, they just paint their faces. Hence the name. Technically star chasers, but their supplement is their income by hunting normal criminals. Not the kind of people you want to mess with. Word reaches them about Ebezo and the cult. Damn it, I shouldn't have been so harsh. They're pretty tough customers, but he's right. These past few times, we've been outmatched. Have we? Because like, it seems like I'm just killing these guys, no problem. Um, I keep thinking we're at, we can beat the cultists, but they always seem one step ahead. There's no having shame and having pride in your abilities. There's more important things than pride here. Good Star Chaser knows when to set his ego aside and get get shit done. Okay, to hell with it. I'll call Red Faces back. We need the help, all the help we can get. In the meantime, I've got a lead. Zed sent some salvage teams out to the nebula and managed to recover Bravado's black box. We still don't know what happened to him or Abezio was able to escape here to begin with. Black box will show us. How? You don't know? Black boxes record memories, specific memories of the last moments of the pilots. With this, we can go through Bravo's black eyes, learn what he's learned. Or you will. I call you here because I need you to use this black box to experience Bravo's memory. Why me and not you? Bravado was Baldwin. Generally, with the black box, you want to be the same race. And ideally, those to the victim as possible. Ideally, close to the victim as possible. Perceptives and biology can get odd. Um, imagine trying to experience something from the perspective of a ball in hive mind or a veiler, whatever they are, you know, and Rishin. Bravado had two eyes. Rishin doesn't. Close as possible. Remember? Fair enough. Good. I've loaded it into your cargo hold. You just need to act. Okay. Box of memory. Replay back. Am I controlling this shit? Oh shit. I didn't even realize. Okay. Sure. gonna get blown up here I guess I can't imagine that I'm gonna yeah survive this
the fuck is this? Okay. Some random Halo shit. Welcome back, Peterson. What was that last memory? The one with the machine. Machine? You're saying it was some sort of device? No, I had some other memory. Somewhere else. Not Bravado Starlight Fighting Watcher. There are some folks talk about some reliving dreams of their own memories in the Black Box Ends. It's a weird tech idiot. Probably some bleed through from your own experience. I've never dreamt anything like that. Look into it later. Then tell us, what did you see? Vezio's sword. He seemed to use it to create a jump hole. His blade. The one on his back? Yes, he used it to take out the hauler and escape. I've heard a tale of things like that. Artifacts. Blades specifically that could control stuff. I didn't really see anything like that, but I'm not going to say I didn't. I don't know. So, it is then. Abezo isn't collapsing jump holes, he's opening them. Zet always comes through at the end. Thanks, Croft, for Bravao. Even dead, his memories are at least giving us a key to taking down the Doomsdayers. That was an experience. You never quite get used to it, but black boxers are one of the small miracles of the galaxy. Every ship's got one, and it's done wonders to protect this kind of in investigation. Sorry, every ship one has one? Every ship built by the Union and its affiliates, yeah. These block boxers. Can they be tampered with, right? You can't change the elements in the memory, but you can remove bits and pieces of it. Though it's pointless. If a memory skips around like a cut of jump videos, it can be extremely obvious why. I need to go somewhere. You do what... What you have to be, Speaker Sin. For now, I got some planning for you. Well, Cardoz, I've heard, though, the grapevine, you've been quite the star chaser. No time for that, Bell. Do you have a black box for anyone in gold? I still have access to the fighter black box, some convincing piece of evidence. I want to see it. It's just going to be upsetting. Do you still have it? Stop by my office. I'll bring it. I'll have a taxi. So yeah, obviously we're gonna want to watch the black box of the of the uh, of the ship that we got like blamed for fraud for. Um, where do I I go to the launch bay? And then. We're looking to go. Carbell's office. Okay. Talk to him. Cardoz. You have the black box? It's on the desk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Use it. out the patterns in Terra and finally more jump holes. Don't mind it. Everything seems normal until I just said that. Whoa. Oh. 
all of a sudden we just blew up. Really wish this was voice acted. I can't read that fast out aloud, so if you want to read it, you just gotta read it yourself. Oh shit. Jeez. So, if that's in the black box, then well, how the fuck did I lose the trial? Well, did you watch this thing? Several times, trying to find out you find you an alibi. Pilot? Died of oxygen loss. Life support gave him out pretty fast in the shockwave of beam. The laser, the big beams, I saw it all. Why didn't you tell me this? I already told you, Cardoz, the charges against you weren't that you led your ship into a storm. That's why they think you led them into an ambush. Whatever destroyed them wasn't a storm, so it supports the charges. That's no weapon I've ever seen before. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. You just have to drop this. I'm saying it's to blame is too much. Esta, the following was on me. Hold on a sec. Bartender, can you please turn off the TV? You need to confirm the attacks across Unaji and Makavari where space were part of a court offered the love of hell. I can't keep up. Once again, same guns. This proves it. Yeah. So I have a scorter saddle with the leader. The triangles? What about the triangles? Fly to the edge of the galaxy. I'm a star chaser. Yeah, I'm not test necessarily following this, but. Pay out 125k, not bad, not bad. I got another level. Okay, well, shit. Well, we're progressing in the story so far, kind of learning a little bit more. Interesting. And now we are gonna go and. Our mission. Nothing. No active missions. Just kind of completed this one. Probably just have to build up a little bit more, uh, build up a little bit more equity. Uh, shield downtime. We're just going to upgrade that. And we are going to call it there. Thank you for watching. Wrench feels like playing Underspace. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm I'm really enjoying this game. It's given me a whole lot of nostalgia um, from Freelancer there. Um, it's a uh, definitely still needs a bit of work. Obviously, um, game's not perfect yet, but it's early access, so wasn't really expecting it to be fully fully intact. But uh, I'm still very much enjoying myself. Uh, so if you liked the video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Uh, and I'll see you next time on Wrench Feels Like Playing.